Hello students, welcome back. Let's do symmetry exercise 22. Page number 228. Question 1 is state true or false. First sentence here is the letter B has one line of symmetry. Now we need to say whether this is true or false. So let's have a look at the letter B. Now this is the letter B. Now let's see how many lines of symmetry we can draw for this letter. So as you can see, we can only draw one line of symmetry. So the first statement, the letter B has one line of symmetry is true. So let's write true. Second statement, the letter F has no line of symmetry. So let's see the letter F. As you can see, we cannot have a line of symmetry for the letter F. We cannot divide it into two parts, two equal parts. So the letter F has no line of symmetry. So this statement is also true. Question 3. The letter O has only two lines of symmetry. So let's have a look at the letter O. This is the letter O. Let's see how many lines of symmetry we can draw. I can draw 1. Okay. I can draw 2. I can draw 3. 4. I can draw an infinite number of lines of symmetry. So this statement which says that the letter O has only two lines of symmetry is false. So let's write false. Next one. This figure has no line of symmetry is what the statement says. Now I can divide it like this with one line of symmetry and one more line, vertical line of symmetry also. So this statement which says that this figure has no line of symmetry is false. So that statement is false. Next one, the letter N has one line of symmetry. So let's have a look at the letter N. Now this one, I'm sure we can't draw a line of symmetry. So this letter N has no lines of symmetry. Therefore, this statement is false. Question six, this figure, the figure that is shown here has one line of symmetry is what the statement says. Let's see. Okay, so we have a vertical line of symmetry. We also have a horizontal line of symmetry. So this statement which says that this figure has only one line of symmetry is false. So this statement is also false. Next one, the letter D has only one line of symmetry. So let's draw the letter D. Okay, let's see how many lines of symmetry we can have. We can have one line of symmetry here. So the letter D has only one line of symmetry. This statement is true because we can't draw any more lines of symmetry for the letter D. Question 8. A scalene triangle has three lines of symmetry. A scalene triangle is a triangle which has all three sides of different lengths. So a scalene triangle will have not a single line of symmetry. So this statement is false. Question 2. Construct a triangle ABC. So we have to construct a triangle in which AB is equal to AC and both those lines are equal to 5 centimeters. So two sides of a triangle are equal. That means it's an isosceles triangle. And the third side is 6 centimeters. Now we have to draw all its lines of symmetry. So first we need to construct and then we need to draw the lines of symmetry. So let's begin the construction. Draw a line segment, name it BC and this is 6 centimeters. So draw a line segment of 6 centimeters, name it BC. Now take your compass and keep it on a ruler and measure 5 centimeters. Take your compass, measure 5 centimeters. Now place it on B and draw an arc. Straight above, draw a little arc. Now with the same measurement, keep it on C and cut this arc. So you will get something like this. You have the line segment BC and above that you have two arcs. Now 
draw a line from that arc to C. So the point where these two arcs meet will name it A. So from A to B draw a line and from A to C draw another line. So now we have got our isosceles triangle. So these two sides are equal and they are 5 centimeters each given in the question. They are 5 centimeters each. So we have an isosceles triangle here. Now we have to draw all its lines of symmetry. So let me draw. An isosceles triangle will have only one line of symmetry. And this is the vertical line which was bisecting the line BC into two halves here. Okay. Question 3. Examine each of the following figures carefully and draw lines of symmetry in whichever figure possible. Okay, the first figure that we have been given is a right-angled triangle. Now, a right-angled triangle has no lines of symmetry unless it is an isosceles right-angled triangle. Okay, so generally a right angle triangle has no lines of symmetry. Now let's go to the next one. As you can see, this is a right angle triangle. This is also a right angle triangle, but there are two sides that are equal. That means this is an isosceles right angle triangle. So it will have one line of symmetry. So an isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry. It is the bisector of the angle contained by the two equal sides. So this line of symmetry is a bisector. It's a bisector of the angle which is contained within the two equal sides as you can see in this figure. Question 3. So here again I have an isosceles triangle as you can see there are two equal sides. So when we draw the line of symmetry, this is how we draw because an isosceles triangle will have only one line of symmetry and that is the bisector of the angle contained by the two sides. The angle that is contained by the two sides, now this line of symmetry will bisect that angle. Now look at the fourth figure. Fourth figure is a kite shaped figure, isn't it? So this will have one line of symmetry. A kite shaped figure has one line of symmetry. Question 5. Now here look at the figures. Now here we'll have only one line of symmetry and that is drawn here. Whereas look at the second figure where we have two circles of the same diameter, same size. So here you can have two lines of symmetry like this. Question 4. Construct a triangle XYZ in which xy is equal to yz equals to zx and all are equal to 4.5 and then we have to draw all its lines of symmetry. So the first thing we're going to do is construct the triangle. So we're going to construct by starting by drawing a line segment. We're going to name it xy and this is 4.5 centimeters. This is the first step. Now we're going to take a compass Measure 4.5 on the scale and place the compass on the scale and place the pointed end on X and draw an arc straight above. Draw a little arc. Now place the pointed end of the compass on Y and cut this arc. So as you can see, the two arcs are meeting at a point which we are going to name Z. Now from that point, you can draw lines from z to x you will get one line and from z to y you will get another line now we have a triangle and all three sides are 4.5 centimeters so now that the construction is over we're going to draw the lines of symmetry now we have a vertical line of symmetry we have a diagonal another one here and one more as you can see this is an equilateral triangle which has all three sides equal and we can draw three lines of symmetry. Question 5. Construct a triangle ABC in which AB is equal to BC and both the lines are equal to 4 centimeters. We are also told that angle ABC is 60 degrees. 
So first we have to construct this triangle and then draw all its lines of symmetry. So let's begin by drawing a line segment that is 4 centimeters. We'll name it AB. Now place your protractor on B and get 60 degrees on the outer scale and draw a line from B measuring 60 degrees. So we've drawn this line and we've got 60 degrees there. So here it is 60 degrees. Now place your compass on a scale measure 4 centimeters on the compass. Place the pointed end on B and cut an arc on this line. So you have 4 centimeters on the compass. Place it on B and cut an arc on the line starting from B. So you will get an arc like this. So this line where the arc has met the line is 4 centimeters. From the arc to B is 4 centimeters. Now the point where the arc and the line meet, we'll name it C. Now from C, you can draw a line up to A. So the line is up to A. Now you have a triangle and here we can draw the line of symmetry. As you can see, this is an isosceles triangle. So we have these two sides equal. So the line of symmetry will start from the point where the angle is there. So you have an angle here, isn't it? This line of symmetry is bisecting this angle because it's an isosceles triangle. So this is the line of symmetry that you can draw for an isosceles triangle. Question 6. Draw the line or lines of symmetry for each figure drawn below. So question 1, we have a figure here. Now, what are the lines of symmetry we can draw for this? We can only draw one line of symmetry. So this figure will have only one line of symmetry. Let's go to the second figure. As you can see, it's circular. So whenever you have something like this, you can have many lines of symmetry. So an infinite number of lines of symmetry can be drawn for the second figure. So we have two more figures here. We have the third and the fourth figures here. Now, if you look at the third one, you can see that it is an isosceles triangle here, isn't it? You can see the two sides are equal. That means it is an isosceles triangle. And as you know, an isosceles triangle can have one line of symmetry bisecting the angle that is contained inside the two lines. So here, the line of symmetry will be like this. Since it's an isosceles triangle, there is only one line of symmetry. Now let's look at figure 4. In this figure, we can have one line of symmetry like this and one more line of symmetry like this. So two lines of symmetry. So children, we'll stop with this for now. In our next video, we will continue the remaining questions. Thank you, children.